Welcome back to Vivid Buffalo Studios. My name is Angela Mithas, and I'm an owner of Vivid Buffalo. I'm a yoga teacher. We have yoga brunch coming up on Saturday. So that's what I've been most excited about lately. Um, teaching again and being able to connect with people again. I was so over the top excited to see that group of yogis. I just screamed at the top of my lungs when it was time to start class. Woohoo, yogis! I was, it was the best. It really was. Um, and I can't wait to do it again and again and again. And um, I love being able to pair it with good food and healthy choices and such a beautiful space. So check it out this Saturday, and I'll include a link. Um, so we got that going on, and paint class is going on. So really, just go to Vivid Buffalo Eventbrite and notice uh, all the different events that we have and watch them just stack on up. That's what I'm looking forward to. Um, and then Retail Buffalo NY Spirit. Um, I'll let you know when the new designs drop, which is going to be pretty soon here. I've got some fun modeling projects coming up. Um, I have some fun props that came in that I'm excited to use for some springtime photo shoots and some events that we have coming up. We definitely want to get uh, an event going around cosplay. So it's something that we're working on and I'll be sharing bits and pieces um, coming up. And if you make that kind of art, are interested in those kinds of things, um, have an idea for an event like that, please, I'm all ears, but send me an email and I'll take a look um, and see what you've got going on. And details to come on that, that's something in the works. Um, Jeremy is working on a mural at Transform Nutrition. Um, so that's what Vivid Buffalo is doing creatively this week. And the murals are just going to keep coming this spring. Um, some big ones. So that's going to keep us pretty busy. Um, we've got a lot of good things going on. And, um, you know, for any of the immediate stuff, like check the links in the description. Come out to our classes. Get to know us. How could you go wrong taking part in a mindful practice, giving yourself a couple of hours to paint and eat good food, or do yoga and eat good food? And, um, you know, we work with groups as well. So if you have a team that works remotely, or we work with some veterans groups as well, where we organize paint classes so the group can get together remotely. And it's a live paint class with uh, a teacher that just really connects well with those kinds of groups. So um, if you have a group in mind, if you're you know, part of a group like that, feel free to reach out, Angela at vividbuffalo.com. So, so yeah, all of those things, guys. Kind of, well, that was a lot of things, but I'm feeling a little quiet today, and I'm excited to get into the reading. I took a look, and it seemed pretty amazing and moving. P.S. These are the joggers that you can get on Teespring. Yay! <laughs> so these are the Spirit of Love joggers that you can get, and they're super cool. And they're like Adidas material, and then like police on the inside and super like high-waisted if you like high-waisted and that's why I think they pair well with the yoga pants because these are super high-waisted and then the yoga pants are like nice and 
low waisted. So it all works well together. And as I get into the reading here, find yourself a comfortable seat. So just notice maybe that's laying all the way out, allowing gravity to take over. Maybe it's a seated position. Grounding through the sit bones. Maybe you're standing and you're feeling all four corners of your feet pressing into the earth. And start to take the time and notice your own breath, your vibrations. You can place a hand on your heart, a hand on your stomach. Feeling your breath your most powerful tool. In today's reading from Journey to the Heart by Melody Beattie, become willing to heal your heart. We don't open our hearts by being a tower of strength. We don't open our hearts by glossing over things in our head. We open our hearts by feeling what we feel. We open our hearts by being vulnerable, honest, and gentle. We've become so strong, so self-sufficient. I can deal with that, we say. No big deal. I'll keep moving on. Yet many circumstances we've been through, and some we're going through now, cause great blinds in our heart. Some of the fractures are small, and some are big, and some really hurt. Maybe certain people in our lives weren't there for us, aren't there for us now in a way that we'd like them to be. Maybe some deceived us unconsciously, or betrayed us deliberately. I can deal with that, we say. I understand. They have their own issues. I forgive. Yes, people do have their own issues, and we do forgive. But now it may be time to learn gentleness, compassion, understanding, and forgiveness for ourselves as well. We don't open our hearts by ignoring the break line. We take our hand, knowing it's held by God, and gently run our fingers across each crack. Yes, it's there. Yes, I feel it. And yes, I'm ready to heal my heart. Feel your heart beating. Feel your breath. Feel the relationship. Notice when you extend the breath, you can slow the heartbeat. And you can heal your heart with your breath. You ground it and that physical strength. And with that, my friends, thank you so much again for watching, and thank you for your feedback, and thank you for reaching out. Um, I will be back tomorrow. Bye.